guest tonight from Knocked Up, Bad Teacher, Sex Tape, I Love You Man, How I Met Your Mother, and other things that sound like a horny Google search. He plays Lakers coach Paul Westhead in Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty. It's on HBO and HBO Max. Please say hello to Jason Siegel. <laughs> Dashing also. Oh, you yeah. A vest and I got all. a vest. I wore a vest today. How long has it been since I've seen you? It's been uh, probably seven or eight years. We used to be neighbors. We lived right yes. down the block from each yeah, other. Right, yeah, right in the heart of Hollywood. Yes. And then you moved to uh, like a hamlet or a village. I moved a village. to a little, a little farm town, yeah. Farm town. Yeah. How farmy is the town? Like, are you uh, like chewing on a stalk of wheat and wearing overalls or what? <laughs> I, I, I have a lot of oranges, and I have a lot of overalls. A lot of overalls? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of them. You don't need more than, like, a couple. No, I my size is a lot of denim. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you... I know you're from L.A. You grew yeah. up here. Do you miss being in the city? Hey, sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> but no, I really like being in a small town. Uh -huh. Like, I go to the uh, high school football games and stuff and wow. like, eat a sandwich, which I didn't know if you could do without kids, but you can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I was nervous. Get you honestly. on a watch list, okay. yeah, for sure. Is this okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I go to like the Christmas play in town and I wait outside and like I uh, ask the little kids to sign my playbill. Really? Yeah, it's really fun. I love it. Do they, they lose their minds when they see you they or don't the little know kids who I know am. Me? They have no idea who I am. <laughs> It's, again, it's creepy, both those things. <laughs> Did you move there before COVID, or was this like a COVID decision? I moved there like eight years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh. I moved there when How I Met Your Mother ended. I was like, oh, I can do whatever I want now. Oh, and yeah. And I'm going to go live in this town, and I, and I never left. And you just walk around, and nobody bothers you or anything? It's like... You know what? I used to uh, be a little scared to walk around because there's like paparazzi and everything, and mm -hmm. like it's just different here. And there, I really like, yeah, I just walk around like Big Bird, like, mm -hmm. hey, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. And to the kids, I'm like Muppet Guy, and to the uh, grown ups, I'm like the naked guy from Sarah Marshall. Uh -huh. It's a great mix. What's the best place where you are? I have a pretty great spot. I got like 21 acres of orange groves. And uh -huh. I, just, I just walk through it and then oh. there's amazing restaurants. Rory's place just opened up there, which is fantastic. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Well, I'm good. I'm glad guy. you're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. I am. We miss you on the block. You do? Yeah. 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 That block was pretty intense. We lived uh, yeah, it was right, too much. right behind a, a really hopping hotel. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you used to order room service from the hotel to your house, which always amazed me. Yeah, I thought it was it, you the know greatest what? idea I'd ever heard. You never use it for like a 3 p.m. salad. <laughs> no. It's like a 2 a.m. cheeseburger and spaghetti bolognese. I mean, I That's think right. I, moved, I was very interested in, in not dying. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. And now you'll probably live forever, forever. up there. Forever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do kids now, though, did they mention, like, because I know on streaming, yeah. How I Met Your Mother and Freaks and Geeks are, like, have had this resurgence in the same way <laughs> that, like, Friends has and, like, uh, The Office, et cetera. Yeah. It's really cool. It's a, it's a strange thing. I don't know if you're experiencing something similar, but at one point I was, like, uh, kind of a representative of the generation I was making art for, mm -hmm. and now people call me Mr. Siegel. <laughs> 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 or Sir. Like on Winning Time, this, this show yeah. I'm on now, at one point, I'm playing the coach, and at one point the players in between takes said, uh, Mr. Siegel, do you have any advice for us young guys? <laughs> Isn't that horrible? I think they think they're being nice, but it's just oh, mortifying. Yeah, it broke my, it broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Little did they know yeah. what they were doing there. I went to, I, I played the guy who plays Kareem in high school. We went to high school the same year. And at one point, someone looked at us and said, it's impossible you two are the same age. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, I get, small world. Yeah, imagine how Kareem feels about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you about, there was a show after Freaks and Geeks. It was a pilot that, like, people, it's like some kind of a, it has, like, a legendary status yeah. now. You were in it. 
Kevin Hart was in it. Yes. Who else was in that pilot? Me, it was Kevin Hart, Amy Poehler, uh -huh. uh, Judge Reinhold was in it. Uh, wow. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, it was a strange time. We were all so young. None of us had really had that much success yet. And Judd Apatow, in a weird move, uh, made Kevin Hart live with me for like six months. What do you mean months. made him live with you? He was like, oh, this will be good for the show if Kevin Hart lives with you. <laughs> and I just lived in a one bedroom apartment. So all of a sudden, Kevin Hart was just living with me. And he'd be like, hey, man, <laughs> like, <laughs> are you making breakfast? <laughs> I'd like some too. So then I'm making breakfast for Kevin Hart. But it's like my... you adopted a kid. Yeah, 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 it really was. But one of my prized memories is somewhere I have a check for Kevin Hart that says like seven dollars and forty-eight cents phone bill. Really? Yeah. It's Kevin, one of my favorite things. You I didn't own. cash that, huh? No, no, no. I no. still got it. Oh, you yeah. must have been. You must have seen the future. Did you know at that time, like, oh, this guy? is driven, he is going to be something. I've never seen anyone work as hard as Kevin Hart works. Mm. We would be out doing stuff and you know, being young dudes, and he would stay home and write and write and write. And you would think like, oh, that's cute. And then you're like, oh, that's how you do it. Like, that's how someone ends up being Kevin Hart. I, I still think about it sometimes. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's out of his mind. He never stops working, he's really. Incredible. incredible. I'm surprised he even had stopped to eat breakfast. I mean, that <laughs> is shocking to me. I make good breakfast. <laughs> when we uh, come back, we are going to uh, see a clip from uh, Winning Time, which is on HBO and HBO Max. Jason Siegel is with us. We'll be right back. I know that our hearts are heavy. But we got a job to do. And there is nothing, there is nothing that Jack McKinney would want more than a win. That's right. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So let's take a minute. Let's take a minute. Give sorrow words. The grief that does not speak whispers the o'erfraught heart and bids it break. So Coach did? No, 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 no. That is Jason C some youngsters in waiting time yeah. on HBO. Um, How about that hairdo? The hairdo. I, 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 it's nice of Jason Bateman to loan you his hair. For... <laughs> <laughs> there would be times when I would be doing good acting and walk away feeling like, wow, this is going to be great. And then I would pass a mirror and think, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, the wig is the star, isn't Ooh, it? Oh, boy. What Paul West said, did he really? I know he was a professor. I think they called him the professor. Yes. He's like this guy who I think kind of gets forgotten in all the Lakers history. I think yeah. partly because there was Paul West Paul and people just confused yeah, those They mixed up and then Pat Riley came up right after him. And, and Pat was such a big star. He's the guy. Yeah, yeah, that he took all that attention. But yeah. was he really, like, would he quote Shakespeare to the players? I think so, yeah. He would quote Shakespeare. And what we tried to do, actually, you know, winning time is a little bit elevated reality. So we tried to make, like, a Shakespearean arc for this guy of somebody stepping into his own manhood. Uh, so it was really fun to play. It's a crazy story how he became coach of the Lakers. Yeah, yeah. It was, like, totally by accident. The head coach had a bicycle accident. And Literally then, by accident, yeah. Yeah and, yeah, and Jerry Buss didn't quite know what to do, and so he just pointed at the assistant coach and said, that guy. And then uh, they put me in these, like, terrible outfits. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. I, you know what? There's a billboard that I drive by every day. No. Yes, and uh, <laughs> actually, we have it here. This is the... <laughs> There's you in the outfit that you very it's almost erotic by the way. It's very it is. inviting. It's like I... a thirst trap. There's yeah. one on a bus also that <laughs> drives through Los Angeles just tempting people. Yeah. I, I was really I was really scared the day they put me in that yeah. and said we're gonna go do the promo shoot. And uh, and I turned to Adrian Brody, who plays Pat Riley, uh -huh. and I was like, I, I actually feel really uncomfortable in this outfit. And he said, the show's about Magic Johnson. The show's about Jerry Buss. You're not going to be on a billboard or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to Adrian there, Brody, I think, is the message there. Yeah, yeah that's, that is pretty great. So you're like a lifelong Lakers fan, yeah, right? Yeah, I grew up born and raised in like the Kobe Shaq era. Who's your favorite player of all time? I have a real affinity for Kobe, because I got for to Kobe. meet him one time. <laughs> yeah. Only one time. Yeah. You remember it? I remember it very vividly. It was actually a really crazy story. It was, uh, I, I hadn't done that much stuff yet. I had just done Forgetting Sarah Marshall, really. Mm -hmm. And um, there was like a head of a studio. It's like real old timey stuff. There was a head of a studio who didn't want to hire me. And so 
The, the agency gave him a ticket to the Laker game. Hire you for what? Uh, for, for a movie that ended up not being very good, unfortunately, oh. <laughs> so I wish I hadn't uh, gone. But anyway, <laughs> they gave him a ticket to the Laker game, and then without telling him, they gave me the other ticket to the Laker game. So then we show up, we're sitting next to each other, me and the studio head. And he like really doesn't want to be there <laughs> at all. I, I can feel it. He has no idea really who I am or anything. I don't think he saw the movie. Then all of a sudden, Kobe saw me out of the corner of his eye, and he left layup lines and ran over, and he gave me a hug, and he said, pardon my French, you're a funny mother and then he went back and, uh, you know, started playing basketball. And yeah. And that was it. Yeah, and then I, I got the job the next day. Wow. Yeah, I literally got the job the next day. <laughs> yeah. That would be, that would be an even better story if the movie had been a huge success. Yes, you know. Yes. Yeah. I also found out he thought I was Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Siegel, everybody. He's not Seth Rogen. He's a different person. His television show is Winning Time. It's on HBO and HBO Max Sunday night. Thank you. We'll be back with This Week in Unnecessary Censorship. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Uh, uh.